Hello, welcome, welcome back to a new Unreal Engine video. Have you ever wanted to like cut out a circle in like a PCG volume, you know, for like clearings and stuff like this? Uh, I'm going to show you how. So it's not that difficult, but it is fairly hard to remember on some occasions. But let me just show you how to do it. So first, of course, you got to enable PCG in the plugins, right? So enable PCG in the plugins right here. And that'll give you access to this PCG volume up here, right? PCG volume. So I dragged and dropped it, and the PCG volume does come with a couple presets here. So if you go over into the properties of the PCG volume here, you can see that there is a graph here. Now, the PCG ones come with standard ones here. So I created a copy of the Simple Forest here. So the Simple Forest is right here. Now I created a copy of it. Now, in order to cut out this volume effectively, we are going to use something called a location volume here. And... Uh, location volume and this location volume is basically just a blank box or volume that you can use for various triggers and things so you can see down here in the properties the location volume you can create various shapes here now for this cutout I have the I have the what is it here the cylinder builder but you can do cube as well so if you have like houses with forests surrounding them you can use the cube but yeah so how do we how do we cut out this shape well, it's fairly simple. So in the PCG graph, this is what it will look like. Now, this is now these are the custom nodes that you're going to need to add. And comparing this to the regular simple forest, I should have brought that up, but uh, comparing it to the regular simple forest, if we go and take a look here, I'll, I'll swap it out. It's it's fine. Um, if we take a look here, you can see that it's actually connected to this landscape. Now, it actually says deprecated here. So you don't want to use this pin. And so that's why you see this get landscape data here. So this node, the get landscape data, goes into a difference, and then it'll get these volumes. This is how we're going to get the volumes, right? So the nodes here is just to get volume data. So get volume data right there. And what you want to do is you want to actually set up some properties in this node. And most notably, all actors, all world actors here, you want to by class location volume for the class here and you want to be able to select multiple. And then you have to add this volume sampler, basically just to grab the points within the volume. And then we will send the landscape data through a difference. And that's going to be sent into the bounding box, bounding shapes here. So if you see all, all sample points must be contained within this shape. If the input is omitted, then the bounds will be taken from the actor and things like that. So what is this is doing is effectively cutting out our shape based on that location volume. And so, yeah, and that's, you connect this landscape up to the surface for all of these, and then you set up the bounding shapes for all of them for this difference. And this difference here is actually going to be set up to discrete instead of inferred, just like that. And now you're able to just cut out PCG pieces, or cut out pieces of the PCG. So let me swap it back to my old one here, to the simple forest, and it'll take probably a minute to regenerate, and there we go. And so now when you drag and drop any sort of location volume, so let's say I wanted to have like a clearing there. I want to drag another one over here. It's going to regenerate and it might regenerate or it might. Yeah. Okay. It's freezing a little bit. It's the, it's the joys of PCG when, uh, when you're working in such large maps, but yeah, and that's pretty much how you cut out various shapes. Of course you can, well, I'll move another one here and we can create like, um, I'll use the cube and it's a little laggy because uh, because it's not optimized, but it's fine for now. But the other consideration is that you have to make sure that the bounding box at least touches the landscape because that's where the surface is being sampled from. So maybe uh, 5,000 by 5,000. And as long as it's touching, touching the landscape, it will cut out that shape. So now we have a box cut out. Yeah, I hope you guys found that helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.